So basically, uh, yes, it's a small farm. What I'm doing is labor intensive, but it's a very small square and each little bit counts. Every year, I've been doing this for years now, and before I could afford it, before my wonderful Patreon account that a lot of you are members of, I um, would collect seeds by hand and sow them. Look, Bear wants to have attention. <laughs> You're such a cuddle muffin. Anyway, for years, I was collecting seeds by hand and sowing them. And then I got the advance from my book and I bought my first mixed species seeds from Cotswold Seeds in the UK. Sadly, Brexit has occurred, which makes it more difficult to get their wonderful mixes. They have fantastic variety of mixes and can cater to your needs or what you need. Anyway, each little bit counts is how I see it. I mean, it's taken, I've been farming here for, I came home in 1997, the summer of, and each little bit over those over 25 years, it's just a little bit each year, a little bit each time it's ticking over. I mean, like the shed we have was built over a number of years. There would be one part of the shed built, then another part of the shed, then the floor, then the yard. So each one was a sequence of when it was affordable to do it, uh, to improve. And it also allowed me to live with the shed in its different sequence of events and saying, ooh, it'd be much better if we could do this or that. But sowing seeds, it's like growing trees. You're constantly uh, trying to add, or at least I am, to the biodiversity here on the farm of both insect life and plant life. And it's better for all of us. And no, I'm not subsidized by the EU. I am not subsidized by the Irish government. If I'm subsidized by anybody, it's those of you who contribute to my Patreon account. So if anybody else is enjoying my videos and seeing how I am developing this farm for nature and working with nature. Yes, it's labor intensive, but hey, the biodiversity here is wonderful. The bird song. I might be too far away from the trees. I can hear the bird song because there's hedgerows all the way around. You can see. The horses are lying down there. <laughs> They're relaxed. There's the big beech trees there. And then there's the soil that I'm working on today. And it's all for nature. And the things I'm doing are not funded by the EU, are not funded by the Irish government, are not seen as vital or important. So I'm, I do appreciate even the three euro a month that people are contributing. The more people contribute three euros a month, the more likely I can purchase more seeds and work on these kind of projects to keep improving the environment here on the farm. And it's like, I feel I am creating a pocket of biodiversity so that when my neighboring farmers start doing these kind of things, it can flow out from here. The dung beetles can fly out, the bumblebees, the uh, moths, the butterflies, they can fly out and distribute. So I'm trying to have, if you will, a lot of people have called this farm like the Garden of Eden. So I'm trying to create a biodiverse Garden of Eden here that can then flutter out and depart and go in other areas. So uh, yes, it's a lot of work. I love doing it and I love sharing it with you all so that you understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. Because I think it's really important to understand how much work is involved in uh, getting the biodiversity to thrive. And it's about limiting some things and increasing other things and putting other things in check because you need to balance out for everything. So the biodiversity is more trees, more grasslands, 
more div diversity in the grasslands. So you have more insect life and you have more soil life in the soil. So please contribute and thank you so very, very much.